Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. So we're going to continue on today. We're going to add an image if we go to the page that we're editing and we're going to go to dashboard. The page that we're working on, on at the moment isn't actually in the menu. So if we go to all pages, pages, all pages. And the page was called header, I believe. There it is. Let's go edit. Now let's hit the edit with Elementor button and we'll use our Elementor to add an image today. So here we were yesterday. I'm going to simply hit the plus, the little red plus icon to add a section. I'm going to select two, well in fact I'll select one column and we'll just add a row that way. There's one column, here we are right here. Inside it I'm going to go up to this little grid icon, the little square dots up here. And I'm going to add an image. I haven't done anything to that section at all. I'm simply dragging it across to the new section there. And as you can see, we've got a placeholder image that's going the full width of the screen. Now, I only, only want it to be taking up half of the screen. So what I'm going to do is go up to this little dark column icon here right click and add a new column and you can add as many as you want so you've added one we split it into two basically here so let's go ahead and add our image just click on the module itself and it'll it'll take you to it or you can use this little edit pencil here let's put in our image this will take you to your library obviously Let's just grab any image. We'll take those bags today. And there you can see it's inserted it into our little box here. Now you can have a caption if you want. I don't want at the moment. You can choose the size of your image. I want mine to be nice and big, which was the original. So I just Hit Control Z and put that back to large. Alignment, I guess I want it in the middle. That's fine. Caption, I don't want one. You can attach one or you can use a custom one. Link, I am going to link it. When people click on this picture or this image, I'd like it to take them somewhere. Obviously, you can get it to take wherever you want. I'm going to have it take people to our bags category. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to right click on the bags. I'm going to say copy link address. I'm going to click back on my image. And I'll simply put the link in right here. Custom URL. And paste your link in right there. You can actually take off the first bit, the local host if you want to, or your HTTPS and the domain name because it's going to look there anyway. Uh, if you wanted to, you could hit the little cog and have it open in a new window. I don't need that. I want it to open in the same window. You can also elect to have it as no follow, which means search engines will not follow the link. Great. So we've got it linked up. Let's do a quick update. And move on to our styles tab. Let's 
click on our bag go over to styles here you can decide you know the width of it in pics you can actually discern it like that we don't need to do anything you can add a hover effect if you want to so normal will have a normal picture if you select hover you've got all these little filters you can play with if you click the CSS filters you can make it brighter or darker contrast let's just bring the saturation up and the contrast up on hover we're on the hover so I'll show you when we're done what that'll do you can have a hover animation if you want shrink pulse pulse grow push pop bounce in play with these there's a whole lot down there if you look I'll just set it on pulse so you can see something I don't want to board around this image it looks great white on white background there you see when I hover over that it's pulsing now and the saturations come up and the contrast has come up if I let go it goes back to how it was that's just some of those effects you can achieve with it I think it's a little too much really I'm going to take that uh, pulse off there so I can just hit the X mark to take that away and we got none that's fine border we've done that box shadow don't want a box shadow if this had been a solid image I might have had a box shadow because that'll put it around the outside there which won't do anything for us on this image I don't believe now the advanced we can set the paddings and margins just like we did with everything else Z index is where it is in front of other objects if it was on top of another object you could set the Z index to bring it forward or backwards CSS ID we don't need that or a class at the moment that you can affect it with uh, custom CSS you've got motion effects again you can decide what you want to do fade in fade in down there's all kinds zoom in left um, background don't need a background again we said we don't need a border custom positioning you can actually tweak this and position it where you want to using this responsive well you can hide it on desktop tablet or mobile if you elect to but I want to keep that everywhere and here's for the custom CSS had you given it a class with the free version you can't put this in here you'd have to put it in the theme customizer which is fine with the pro version you get to put it right in the module right there but there's a workaround for the free version like I say just put it in the custom CSS box on the customizer so let's just update that and view it preview our changes and here we are here's our image and it's got that crazy contrast effect when we mouse over it now when I click on it it should take us to our bags page there we go fantastic and let's go back so that's all we're gonna do today very simple how to add an image manipulate it use some hover effects tomorrow what we'll do we'll add a little text block to the right here and perhaps a button to take them to our bags page as well so there you have it that's how to add an image using the Elementor I hope you found that useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share like comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.